and today I am reviewing for you the Fit Splint and the Belly Bandit. This is the Bamboo Belly Bandit, um, and these are used for postpartum maternity or, in my case, I'm using it to help treat my ab separation. Um, the proper medical term for that is diastasis recti or diastasis recti, or you can call it DR for short. Um, so, I first got this belly band at first I have a, a long journey with uh, my ab separation, um, which you can read about on the blog or I'm writing an ebook about it because there's so much info that I want to share with you guys. Um, but basically, when I went through the Mood Tooth system, it's an online program. It was great, um, and they don't recommend splints at all, so I didn't do any kind of splinting until I was 15 months postpartum and started going to a physical therapist and um, did a few sessions with her, and by the end, she released me and said that, you know, I could, I could hold my abs in together when I was exercising and doing things, but that a splint or some kind of belly binder would help bring it together faster. So I went ahead and bought this one. This one is about $70 online. This is the Belly Bandit. Um, I tried the other, the regular Belly Bandit on, um, but it was just, it was really tough and it didn't feel like I could move around. Um, but this is the bamboo type and it's a lot softer. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like when you put it on. Um, so this is what I got first. And I usually wear them over, over another tank top um, because they can get sweaty against your skin, especially if you're using them to work out. Um, so you just put this in here and pull it tight across here. And then you can kind of twist it around to where you feel comfortable. Um, so as you can see, mine already has a crease in it <laughs> um, because this is, you know, this is where I move in this direction. And so it, it kind of has a, a permanent crease there. Um, so I didn't know what this looked like. I tried to look up other reviews, but over, like when you put another shirt underneath, this is obviously a little bit see-through, so you can see through. Um, but otherwise, you can't see the bandit too much. You can also um, pull your shorts or your waistband over the top, so then all you see is this part of it. Um, so I would wear a shirt that's not see-through over this, but I just kind of want to give y'all an idea, because this is a, a semi-fitted shirt, um, it's not, it's a little loose, um, but the only thing with this is that when you move side to side, if it's on the side, you can kind of hear it crunching, and I feel like that was a little embarrassing for me, um, but if you take it in the front, then I don't I feel like it gives it a good wrap, and you can see this Little crease right here and that is just really obvious um, and it's not bad but if you're wearing it for six weeks it can just get old after a while um, but it is very structured it's tight um, so I really liked it because I felt like it pulled my abs in together um, my gap was from here to here um, so I have a four had a four finger with gap so I could fit four fingers um, basically in a gap in between the work so like your six pack basically my six pack is like right here instead of closed together like that um so now it's um it only spans like around my belly button area so I'm still wearing a splint to help keep it closed I wore this one for six weeks um at first I only wore it when I was working out and then I started wearing it a little bit more during the day and a little bit more up to about eight hours a day um, just because it, it felt like it was giving me structure and I had less lower back pain. Um, and this was after I learned how to use my abdominal muscles, how to use the transverse muscles, which is the deep muscles that go underneath your six pack that wraps from your spine all the way around. Um, that's what really gives you support. So I wouldn't recommend just putting on a splint um, if you don't know how to use your abs because this isn't supposed to be used as a crutch. It's supposed to kind of help. So like I think of it as when you break an arm and you, know, you have to have a cast that kind of keeps the bone in the arm or some kind of other splint when you wear you keep the bones or the um, the tissue together and so that can grow and heal together properly. Um, so I feel like that's kind of how it's helping pull my abs together 
I mean, I'm not wearing it. Um, it's, it's helped close the gap from here to here so far. So I still have a little bit of a gap around my belly button. Um, so I wore this for six weeks and then my physical therapist, I wasn't sure if I should keep wearing it because that's the recommended amount of time. Um, so she told me that I could, uh, keep trying the splint for another four to six weeks and just check back in. Um, she felt like my abs were closed, but they don't look closed. <laughs> so that's been a little bit difficult for me. I still have a lot of loose skin. Um, so it's nice because they function well. Like I can do push-ups on my toes and planks and all that without compromising my form. Um, and so when you are compromising, you can kind of see like a, a bulge in your belly button. So like when you sit up, you would see this like ridge down the center. And that's when you can tell if that's a good sign that your abs are separated. Um, but this one, she recommended kinesio tape, but I told her I had already bought this fit splint. Um, and fit splint, they actually sent this to me for review, so I didn't pay for this one, but it is a lot less expensive um, than the Belly Bandit, and I like it better. And the reasons for that is because, so this is me putting it on over my tank top, and so you just have the bottom strap, keep it on the bottom, the top strap, and the top, and then you pull it so like you're pulling your abs together here, and then wrap it around there. So it kind of wraps here and here. Okay, so this one is just a lot smaller. It doesn't encompass, you know, it doesn't cover my ribs at all, so I feel like I can breathe a lot better. Um, and it's really small underneath shirt, so I really can't tell I'm wearing it with this shirt at all. Um, so I can wear it without feeling uncomfortable in public um, and no one knows that I'm wearing it. I wear it under my dresses and um, other clothes and then I can bend from side to side and you can't hear it. You can't hear the Velcro like you can hear that one. And it's a little bit less support so it's, it feels like wearing, if you've ever worn um, an ankle splint or something like that. That's what it feels like, but it's for your core. Um, and this one is designed, you know, to fit under your ribs and like right above your hips so that you can breathe and move better and more properly. So this is the fit splint. Um, I will say that the only negative thing I have about this is that the material is neoprene and then there's some silicone strips here that help adhere to your body um, and about 5% of people's skin um, reacts to that so mine is a little bit irritated when I take it off so just be aware of that when you get it um, it's really not bad for me though it's if I wear it for 8 to 10 hours a day which is a pretty long period of time so for, I'll wear it when I'm exercising for sure um, and then I'll take it off for a while cool off a bit and I can put it back on um, and then because they say like with the belly bandit they recommend you sleeping with it and I just couldn't sleep with it. I actually tried one time but I couldn't fall asleep. So that is my review. I've only tried those two splints um, so let me know if you have tried another one that you really like that you would recommend. Um, I've been wearing this fit splint for about two weeks now. I'm going to keep wearing it for another month or so um, and see if my abs are just completely back together, if they look together. They already feel together, which is good sign, but I'm just going to keep trying it out um, and check back in with my physical therapist. So and if you do have questions about um, diastasis recti, um, there are a few good resources. The MUTU system, I really do recommend. It's a good exercise program um, for postnatal and they have great information about um, App separation, you know, what it is and how you can kind of fix it, but sometimes it just doesn't ever go back together. As long as it's functional, um, if it's two finger width or less, then it's really not a problem. Um, but for me, it was because I was having lots of low back pain and I couldn't do a lot of floor exercises normally. Um, so yeah, I'm on my journey to fix it. I would say that everyone's journey is different. Um, I know some people who have fixed it like that, saying you just do these certain exercises and 
you're absolutely fixed. Well, that wasn't the case with me, and I'm going to say that might not be the case with you. Um, you might have to try different things, um, but I would say definitely, you know, get yourself checked out. Um, I'll link to a few videos where you can check your app separation um, in the show notes below. And then if you do have it, then um, personally, I needed to see someone in, in person to help me fix um, and, and get, learn how to engage the right muscles. Um, so I saw a physical therapist after doing some online programs, which didn't really work for me. So, um, so yeah, but I'd love to talk to you more about that. So comment below, and I hope to see you over at the blog as well. I'll link to the blog post here. Okay, thanks so much. See you next time.